Hello everyone, welcome back to another video on iMyPhone channel. Have you ever seen a message saying unable to activate Touch ID on this iPhone? If you have, then you're in the right place. In today's video, six methods are shown to solve the issue unable to activate Touch ID on this iPhone. And you can check the timestamps down below to find a solution that suits you. Now, let's begin. At the very beginning, you should know the three main parts in this video. Part one, simple tips and settings. This part contains four tips. Part two, force restart iPhone. Part three, use a professional third-party tool. Okay, let's get started with the first part. This part provides four simple tips that can fix your iPhone in an easy way. They are, activate Touch ID from settings, turn passcode on and off, delete and then reset Touch ID, and reset all settings. Just follow the steps down below to try those methods one by one. Tip one, activate Touch ID from settings. If you can't activate Touch ID normally, then you should know how to activate it in settings first. Let's open settings and find the button Touch ID passcode. Choose it. Then tap on add a fingerprint. Follow the instructions on the screen to set up your fingerprint. Please make sure that your finger is dry and clean for the process. After that, you can restart your iPhone to see whether Touch ID is activated successfully. Tip 2. Turn passcode on and off. Sometimes the passcode will prevent Touch ID from working normally, so you need to do something about it. Similarly, open the settings and then choose Touch ID and passcode. Enter your passcode. On the next interface, tap on Turn Passcode Off and enter your passcode again. Then you can try to activate Touch ID again. During this process, the system will automatically ask you to turn your passcode on. Tip 3. Delete and then reset Touch ID. Occasionally, you have to reset your Touch ID to overcome this problem. To do that, you should go to Settings and then choose Touch ID and Passcode. After that, enter your passcode. Now you can see your fingerprints. Swipe or click to delete them and enter passcode again to confirm your action if asked. Then you can follow the steps in Tip 1 to activate your Touch ID again. Tip 4. Reset all settings. The issue can be caused by unknown changes in your settings as well, so you can solve the problem by resetting all settings. You can open the settings, find General, next choose Reset, and then Reset All Settings. Then enter your password to confirm that. Similarly, after rebooting, you can go back to Tip 1 and then activate your Touch ID again. If those four tips fail to help you out, then you can try force restarting your iPhone to handle the problem. The method varies between iPhone models. Due to time limit, I'll only show you how to do it on iPhone 8 or later models. And you can find detailed steps of all models in the video in the top right corner. For iPhone 8 or later models, let's quickly press and release the volume up button and then the volume down button. Finally, press and hold the side button until you see the Apple logo. If this method works, then your Touch ID can be normally activated after rebooting. However, if all the methods above fail, then your iPhone may suffer some software glitches. And that's why we'll use a professional iOS repair tool in the end. iMyPhone FixPo is a third-party tool which can solve numerous iOS issues. Surprisingly, it will repair the phone without data loss. So let's see how to use it. Before you begin, please make sure that you have downloaded and installed iMyPhone FixPo on your computer. I've put the link in the description in case you need it. After launching the FixPo, you will find three options available. And you can see the standard mode helps solve various iPhone problems. Click it. Then connect your iPhone to the computer and click on Next to get your device detected. Then you can choose a proper firmware for your iPhone and click Download. 
Finally, just select Start to Fix and the software will begin repairing your iPhone. After you see the successful message on the computer screen and the iPhone reboots, you can go to the settings to activate the Touch ID directly. And the unable to activate Touch ID on this iPhone issue won't happen again. Okay, that's all for this video. Although unable to activate Touch ID on this iPhone is not a serious problem, it can have a negative impact on your daily life because you need it to unlock your iOS device, make payment, confirm action, and so on. That's why we made this video. We always make your convenience our priority. We hope this video helps. Bye. See you in the next video.